there's a bit of hubris in the space industry because you know, it's rocket science, it's magic pixie dust of space. I don't buy that for a second. The bottom of the ocean, I think, is much harder. Higher pressures, biological things trying to eat you, corrosive fluid, conductive fluid. But space is very non-intuitive because we're not used to it. Which means that when we try to build something, we inevitably forget some nuance and it doesn't behave quite right. It's just different. And that's the crux of it. But I mean, if you want to mine the moon effectively, I mean, that's the best way to do it. <laughs> We're going to go point to point on the moon. We've been using Altium at OrbitFab since the very early days when we used it on FURFI, our first mission to the International Space Station. We pumped water across to the International Space Station, they're now drinking the water that, uh, that we sent up. So it was, a, it was a real test of our systems and making sure that there were no gotchas in what we're doing when we went to a, a zero G environment. A gallon of water is dangerous on the space station because if, if it leaks and gets on an astronaut's face, you can't push it away. So it's actually a catastrophic level hazard the highest level hazard they have. So we had to meet all of their triple redundancy standards and everything else to be able to do that. That program was four months from a sketch on the back of the envelope to flight. Uh, we got to do one spin on our PCBs and had to get them right first time, which uh, Altium was really useful to make sure it was all right, particularly with respect to kind of fit checks, mechanical CAD, getting the boards to really look in the computer like they will look in real life. The next thing we worked on was Rafti, a rapidly attachable fuel transfer interface. It allows the two satellites to come together and then dock uh, without humans needing to be in the loop. There was no standard that was being published. And we knew we could embark on a project to come up with a solution to, to be able to dock spacecraft with our, our fuel tankers. So we're working with complex PCBs. When you're designing for spacecraft components, you have hard vacuum. You have only radiation to get heat off of your board into other things. And so sort of trace width design and thermal considerations and how much copper you're putting in places really matters. Once it's up there, you don't really have a way to fix things. You need to be thinking ahead about when components fail, do you have workarounds? Because they all react subtly differently to the buildup of, of radiation degradation or to a high energy particle, which might short out two conductors as it leaves an ionizing trail. So that might mean that your motor drivers, when you're designing them, you need to have additional sensing circuitry to detect this event, and then additional circuitry to power the whole thing off and on again to recover. Woo, look at that. Absolutely right perfectly perfect. nailed the yeah. middle of it. I don't think I've ever once in my life been excited after a first test. <laughs> so the next step for OrbitFab is really to launch the first operational tanker, the, the world's first gas station in space. And so we expect to be doing that sometime in the next 12 months. The step after that, do the first end-to-end -end demonstration of refueling and then build our complete network. It's just another layer of infrastructure that then allows us to operate and do more things in space. There's more material in the asteroid belt than there is in that shell of the Earth that we can access. And it's easy to access because it's just floating around. So if we get out and get access to that, there's, there's enough material there to support trillions of people. It eclipses what we can do on the surface of the Earth. That's a future worth looking forward to. That's going to be a very interesting place to live. Please give us a like and share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment in the section below.